This palette right here is called the info palette. And basically it will give you a variety of different information about your image depending on the tool you have selected. For example, I'm going to click on the eyedropper tool. And when I do that, I can then come over here and I can see that the purple of her lapel is made up of red 99, green 8, and blue 82. That may not mean anything to you. Maybe you understand CMYK a little better, which is 51 cyan, 100 magenta, 37 yellow, and 26 black. Maybe you don't understand what any of that means. Well, that's okay, because all you need to know is that it's giving you the mathematical equation of that particular color. And if I were to click on it, notice that the color was sucked up and placed over here because of the eyedropper. But simply, we know her lapel is made up of those particular colors. Now, other things that we can use the info palette for is the crop tool. By simply cropping an image, we can see that it's 4 inches by 3 inches, and we can adjust it as needed. If I were to hold down on the eyedropper and just click and hold, that's going to open up the palette that allows me to see more tools. And if you come down here to the ruler tool, I can click from this point to this point, let go, and then it tells me exactly how long that line is. Maybe you care about it for architecture, maybe you don't. I have no idea. But it also gives you the angle degree. So, for example, if you wanted to see if something was straight or not, you can let go and see, no, it's crooked. You can also use it to find out your XY coordinates as well as your height and your width. It does tell you your document size, however, by default, it's showing you the exact same information at the bottom of the image. And generally, your options may or may not change depending on the actual tool selected. Now, don't get me wrong, I don't find the info palette to be the most interesting tool palette. However, when you start getting involved into more complicated intermediate topics, then you would actually use it for a variety of different reasons. However, for our conversation today, you can largely just close this up and forget it even exists.